Hi. Podcast. I know I'll. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Sioux Empire Podcast, the quirky but harmless podcast that's all about the Northern Plains news, comedy, music, and culture. I am your host, Robert Mailing, and with us, as always, is Seth Glover. What's up? Natasha to the Estes. Hi. And Emily Georgiou. And also, we have a Mr. Clinton Brown in the house. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, good to have you. Let's, uh, let's see. You are... Uh, what what title would you like to go with for this? You have a lot of them. You've got, you've got a owner of Fluxor, or how many different organizations do you? Uh, sorry, I was checking out the Facebook. Uh, stalking you on Facebook. Mm-hmm. How many different titles do you wear? Which which hat are you wearing tonight? You know, or are you wearing all of them? No, I I probably wear all of them. But for tonight's purposes, probably just owner of the bakery, and I also own a little consulting group called Alluvio. Um, the Fluxer name doesn't happen around too much more. That sort of morphed into the new project. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Rob stalks, just not, not, not very well. closely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why I never catch them. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. They always get away. I catch them. Oh. We know. We... <laughs> so, jumping into our first story tonight. Uh, first off, we'll just mention that the reason for the Sufalsian title, and I don't know if I agree with this, kind of controversial, and the Argus Leader only did a Twitter poll on this. Do we go by Sioux Fallsian? What do we call no. people from Sioux Falls? I've Did been calling... I... Wow. All right. So, <laughs> first off, I don't know is... She's the loose cannon. None of us on here is, like, born or were I born am. and raised, unless Clint Brown was. No, no, no. no. Born and raised was, in Sioux Falls. I was born in Oklahoma, so... I was just about okay. to say, yeah, he was born in Oklahoma. And I was like, wow, that's... I really did stalk him. That's creepy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Rob, you your birth your parents homework. were no. I'm yeah. <laughs> Less Born at nine thirty-seven. <laughs> so yeah, I don't. I don't think any of us. I mean, I am a South Dakotan. All right, I don't. I'm not going to give myself a title concerning so my town. So you're just going with South. Okay. Yeah. See, I always go with Sioux Falls Heights, which got second place with like thirty percent uh, or something like Niagara that. Isn't Niagara Falls called? Aren't mm-hmm. they called Fallites or whatever? Fallites. <laughs> no, that's just stupid. They're called like Ni- Niagrites or something weird. Yeah, gr- Nitrates. I, well, anyway. Yeah, they, they, nitrates. They, they the, they, their they name the is that thing. to the Niagara. I think. Yeah. So, they, yeah. Their name is that stuff in hot dogs you're not supposed to eat. The nitrates. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we should be maybe like mini hahans or something really odd. Yeah. That We could do mini something with that. Ha ha. I, no. I, boy, I'm really on ha-ha-ers. the ice kick. Yeah. The people who laugh. We need, we need like a tribe name like that. The people that well, that's what you know. Many well, haha means yep. laughing waters. So. It does. Yeah. Sue's <laughs> yeah. already a tribe name, but you know. Shit. <laughs> He's got me. It's like no, no well, we could go with yet. Dakota. Just, oh, son it. of a. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're going with uh, Sioux Fallsites for the title. In case you anybody wanted that backstory. Uh, our first story tonight is just how gosh darn happy everyone in South Dakota is. Let's see, a new poll from Gallup uh, Healthways What's determined this? which states had the highest and lowest well being based on participants' answers about things like their sense of purpose, social relationships, financial stability, community involvement, and physical health. Here are the top 20 happy. Yeah, we're, we're not doing the top 20. South Dakota got number three. Spoiler alert South Ooh. Dakota is number three happiest state in the united states hawaii is number one which seriously they live in paradise that why did we even bother asking i hear there's no snakes there there wasn't there then, are aliens and then i took that briefcase full of them there and all hell broke loose did you take it on a plane or on a boat I'm supposed to say a plane that was a bad movie right oh shit you were doing wow, the snakes on a plane so bit okay. snakes on this plane i don't know if that's the line or not I'm I've sure. had it with these goddamn snakes, snakes. Yes. on this motherfucking plate. Yeah. yeah, something like that. There's got to be a motherfucking in there. I think because... it was two motherfuckings. So, I'm going to ask, yeah, yeah, do we feel happy, people, people of Whoa. Sioux Falls and South Dakota? Yeah, I think I got it. As a group, feel happy? Just... Oh, it's all blurry. What I know they, this what is What did they use to measure this? <laughs> a questionnaire. <laughs> I know what I mean. Oh, what, God, what, I didn't no, know we the... were going to ask this. Yeah, what's the sample size no. here? Because I didn't get it. Forget even sample, sample size. size. What do they ask us about? Just like my experiment. 
Was it like purpose? It wasn't like it shoveling just, snow or no ignorant and like happy. Or, just, you don't know how good you could have it somewhere else. They didn't ask us about that's the type of happy it. we are. Well, I've never Traffic. been anywhere else, but this is pretty great. I don't so know. I don't I don't mind living here. Oh, believe me, I, yeah, it's West great. Side's best I great. think that's probably a big factor is that people haven't been elsewhere. Yeah, that's true. You know, people. Well, compared to like it. a little town but, like Canton. But you'd think that <laughs> yeah. by going by that, you would think that every state would, would have the, an equal else. amount of people being happy where they are at. I don't well, know. There's a disproportionate like, number of people like in Sioux Falls who right? have literally oh, never been anywhere else. This is true. This next story we're calling No Country for Old Men. South Dakota's violent crime rate has doubled in the past decade from 383 per 100,000 residents in 2015, according to FBI statistics. Uh, the Minnehaha County Sheriff was quoted in this Argus Leader story. People have had their heads in the sand and are not uh, talking about serious problems we have in our state. Um, I don't know. It, this, this story kind of hit a nerve with me because just a year ago in the Argus Leader, I swear to God, the, and I couldn't find the story, but I remember it was either the Minnehaha County Sheriff or the Chief of Police for Sioux Falls was saying how people are overblowing the crime situation in South Dakota. And it basically it was an exact opposite story where it was the public official with the quote was just like, no, these crime statistics are overblown and they don't ca- account for this and well, blah, blah, certainly... blah. And like one year later, we've gone to a, we are a meth hellscape. That pretty much sums up South Dakota, third happiest place in the entire United States. That's the first part with Clinton Brown. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that stuff next week. Probably Saturday, maybe Sunday. Gonna see part two with Clinton Brown. That's gonna be a good episode.